What's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So you may have come across this news about the iPhone XS charge gate. Basically it's where you try to charge your iPhone XS using the power cable and if your phone is asleep or locked, the first time you put it in, it doesn't charge unless you tap the phone to wake it up or unlock it. Now that's a big problem because usually when you just plug in your charging, you expect the phone to start charging straight away. Now for some reason the XS's and the XS Max's, they're not really been doing that. They've been having a lot of problems. Now I wasn't aware of this until I started seeing the videos and stories online about it. So I experienced the same issue with my iPhone XS Max. So I've got my iPhone charging cable is plugged into the power socket here. Now the phone is locked. I haven't woken up the screen yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the charging cable straight into it. I expect it to start charging straight away with that confirmation noise, but let's go ahead and see if it does it. It's very temperamental, but I've plugged it in, nothing. The plug is on, so it's not charging right now. So if I tap to wake the phone up, it should start charging. Now you see it's just started to charge. This is a very common problem amongst a lot of the iPhone XS's and XS Max's. Not sure why it's doing that and Apple have not responded to this at all. However, the news just came out yesterday that they are dropping a, a new software update, iOS 12.1. Apparently that will be fixing this exact same problem. It's not publicly available yet at the time of this video. However, it will be coming very soon. It's in beta, so all the beta testers can actually access iOS 12.1 now to see if that fixes the issue. But nonetheless, it's kind of an acknowledgement from Apple's perspective to say that, you know, we've uh, listened to all the problems, we've missed it in our testing and we're trying to fix it. We're gonna release a, a software update to solve that issue. But then again, they're just not very good at accepting ownership of causing problems such as this. So there seems to be Apple Gates for a lot of situations every time there's an iPhone release. There was a bend gate uh, a while back as well for some of the iPhone 7s. But nonetheless, that will fix the issue. On the other aspect, I just wanted to give a shout out for a really good wireless charger that I've got. Now, I usually work in the office. I've got a lot of equipment all around my desk and I just like to keep everything neat and tidy. So I've actually got this desk organizer by EasyAC. This is their company logo, EasyAC there. You can check them out on Amazon. I'll leave all of the links in the description below. But essentially this desk organizer where you can keep all of your notes, your pens, your stationery. But on the right hand side here, you have a wireless charger. Simply just put your phone in there and it starts charging straight away. Of course, you need a plug outlet next to this as well. So I've got this plugged in at the back on here on my plug socket. So my iPhone XS, I use that for charging using this desk organizer. On the front here, you have a blue light showing that it's ready to put a phone on there. And once you've placed your phone in there, it should start showing green, which indicates that the phone is now charging. So very convenient. I do this all the time with my wireless phones. I did it with my S9 Plus. I'm doing it with my iPhone XS Max. Simply just place it. You'll see that it starts to charge straight away. And relatively, it's probably a little bit slower charging than you would with your power cable. However, if you're in the office, you just wanna put your phone there from time to time. Just leave it there while you do your work. No problem, it will charge fully. Give it an hour or so and you'll be back up and running with enough battery power. So big shout out to EasyAC. This is a really convenient desk organizer. I do recommend that to everyone. That also eliminates the problems with the charge gate that Apple have introduced, but I hope you guys found that useful. Let me know if you have any questions and if you do, drop them down below. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you next time.